Flixier tutorial how to use Flixier for beginners. Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be showing you Flixier how to create and publish with the fastest video editor. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to actually go to Flixier.com and you will land on this website right here. Flixier.com is an online platform that allows you to edit and publish your videos. You'll be able to create amazing videos in few clicks. You can create YouTube videos, online courses, webinars. Um, there are a lot of a lot of different options that uh, we can avail with Flixier. So how to get started? Well, it's very easy. Once you get to the platform, you're just going to click on sign up for free and it will directly take you to your editor. So after the initial sign up or sign in, this is where you will land. Now this is inside of our Flixier. This is the editor. And now we'll actually get started with the editing. So the first step is going to be importing your photos or videos or music clips to create a video. So for that, you can see we have this slot here which says record or import. So if you want to do the screen recording, then you can do that from here. But we will be importing the media. So click on import media and it has different options. It has my device, Google Drive, Google Photos, Dropbox, OneDrive, Zoom, wherever you have your media, you will import it. So I will just simply upload from my computer. So now our video is import. So here uh, you will get all of your media. I have just imported this video that I am editing. Now, uh, once you have added, you can simply drag and drop it to your editor and it will be added. So for me, I am actually editing a reel today and you can see this is my video here and I am editing it. So uh, this is our, you know, video. It's a seven second video. Once you add your media to your editor here, uh, we can, of course, add like the landscape videos here, portrait, um, and you can select the uh, width and height here. So you can select the width and height. So we can go with even 1920 by 180. So this is 16 by 9. Let's say that I wanted to go for vertical. We can go with vertical. We can go with standard. And you can select the resolution first. So for me, I am going with 9 by 16. So I'm going to now adjust my video to the 9 by 16 frame. There you go. Now it's a perfect 9 by 16. Again, select the, uh, you know, first select the resolution here so that your video is perfect in frame. Once the uh, resolution is done, for me, it is this. Now you can see at the bottom here, we have our video. And I'll be able to adjust the time slot from here. This is the total time. This is the zoom in and zoom out. At this side of the screen, we have stock, audio, motion, text, subtitles, shapes, and transitions. Okay, so this is my video. I'm going to play it and show you. It's a very simple video. And it has a sound in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the sound and add another music. That's what I want to do. You can select the video and then we can cut it, delete, add track and more. Let's say first I want you to cut. Select the cut option and you'll be able to, wherever you had adjusted your, uh, you know, um, your cursor, it will be cut from here. It will split the video. So now you can see there's a split here and I can add transition. Select transition from here. And let's say I want to add this transition, maybe this one. So we'll add this one right here. So now our transition will be added here. Now we can play the video. Play the video again and again to see how it actually looks. Okay, then we can also add the text and we can adjust the motions. Go to the motion here and you can add the press title one. Titles, you will be able to add different types of, you know, text. For instance, this one and enter the text to your video. So uh, you can add any kind of text and text style to your videos. Uh, it's really easy to do. And once you select any of the elements from here, you can go to the side of the your screen and you'll be able to see the effect option, colors and audio uh, with each scene and with each, uh, you know, element. If we talk about the stock library, there is a huge stock library available where you'll be able to find different videos, images to use within your video. So I'm not using any of the stock footage, but you can see here we have images, we have GIFs and videos. I can search for anything. Let's say I am actually working on this. Let's see if I can find something with the videos. Okay, so you can see 
uh, you can search for any of the keywords and it will show you the videos here and you can import them to your time slot here and edit the video when it comes to the audio again uh, different types of music different types of uh, genres everything is available here music and uh, different sound effects so you can go to the sound effects and this is where we work most of the time and we can add any kind of sound effect to our uh, video if you want to listen to it first you can select it and then you can play the sound and it will show you that what it is so uh, these are different sound effects we can add uh, then as i showed you the emotions then we have text so uh, for the text you can select your font from here once you select the font then you can change the text of course so here we have the text color we have the background highlights font family font uh, weight size alignment highlights you can change everything and then we can even adjust where we want to place the text let's say that i want to just place it like in the start or maybe throughout the video let's actually do that let's add it throughout the video and i'm gonna just add evenings or okay so this is my text that i want to add and now i can adjust the size and i'm gonna actually decrease the size a little bit to 141 there you go so this is my text and I'll place it in the center here. There you go. So we have added the text. Uh, if you want to add subtitles, so auto subtitle option is available. This is one of the options that I really like because sometimes when we're creating YouTube shorts and reels or TikToks, we want to add some subtitles and auto subtitles to our videos, then you can use this option. We also have manual subtitle or upload subtitle, so you can use this option. Then we have different shapes. So of course, you'll be able to add different types of shapes and arrows to your videos here and you you can search for any kind of shape and you can go for like squares and rectangles and circles like any kind of shape you want to add to your video here so when it comes to the video itself uh you can adjust the time slots really easily adjust the you know layers we have different layers that we work on and then we have animation option available to go to the animations here and you'll be able to add different animation and add different effects you will be able to change the colors the uh you know the overall uh you know video quality is really good with flixier so and then we also have the library this is where you upload your footage keep that in mind at the top we also have the undo and redo options histories you can uh, change the file name so i'm just gonna quickly do that and call it test there you go um, so uh, this is my reel and I didn't actually do a lot with it I wanted to keep it simple and show you around uh, once you're done with the editing once you're done with your video we can just simply click on export so now uh, save file as we can save videos audios and gifs as well so I'll be saving it as a video if you want to remove the watermark then you can upgrade to the flex your plan we're going to click on export and download and our video will be downloaded in minutes using Flixier. Flixier is a very easy to use editor that you should check out. It's a powerful online tool for free. So go ahead and check it out right now. Flixier.com this brings us to the end i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel